right guys, welcome to the review of the Subotech or Crenova Tornado uh, RC car. It's 112 scale, I believe. Yeah, 112 scale cross country vehicle. It is fully proportional, fully hobby grade. 112 scale, 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, comes with a 1500 milliamp, milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Um, yeah, proportional steering. Um, yeah, they it's Chinese, so they say rudder machine, but they mean servo, rubber tires, motors, um, full ball bearings throughout, and metal gearing. So, yeah, that's something. Well, that's what the control looks like. Um, all your trims, etc. Daily knobs, and yeah, it's so cool. right. uh, that's what it looks like off the box. Um, you get a manual. Um, spoiler, I think that is, yeah. Um, some shock spaces, screwdriver, and manual. And this. I think that's just protective box. Right, and there's the controller itself. Right, pretty basic 2.4 gig controller steering. If you've seen my other videos, the same controller, the Subotech um, Mini Desert Buggy. Right, and obviously your tag. There. And for the truck itself. That's what the truck looks like with um, I think that's charger in here. Charger. I'm guessing the battery is over here. Twist the knob and a bit fiddly. Should I do this? There we are. Push up and yep, there's your battery. Um, looks like a uh, yep, fifteen hundred milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Uh, yep, and bottom mounted switch, so you have to take the shell off. Um, I p normally I prefer the switch being inside, it prevents dirt and the other stuff getting onto the switch. Uh, yep. Uh, right, let's just get that spike. Take this, uh, missing the spoiler obviously. Um, spoiling the packet. Put that on afterwards. Um, let's just take the shed off and see how it looks. Right. It's a pretty basic design. There's um, 
casing for the electronics, so I'm guessing it might be splash proof. There's a servo, the central drive shaft which is metal, that's good. Meaning if you do do a brushless conversion, the shaft will hand handle it. There's your servo, which is a 5 wire servo. Uh, metal dog bones, drive shafts, and there's your rear mounted motor. Um, yeah. So it's rear mounted, but it is four wheel drive because of that center shaft going through right after through there, that silver shaft. Right. There is quite a lot of metal there, There's metal brace at the front over there. Um, but yeah, majority of it is plastic. And um, yeah. Pretty basic design. Um, looks like LEDs on the front. That's good. And yeah, not really much to talk about. So I'll just get everything video out, and we'll see you soon. I did also forget to mention that it, it does come with um, what look to be dog bones or drive shafts and a metal wheel wrench, which is good, and extra body clips. Uh, yeah. Right, battery installed. It just looked like, like there's plenty of room if you do ever want to get the battery. So, yeah. Right, this is the running video of the Subo Tech Prinova, whatever you want to call it. Prinova Tornado. So, it looks very strong indeed. Yep, very quick, not the line. The suspension is a bit bouncy, so I mean, I don't know if you have to put a shock in them oils or they just spring loaded, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like a very quick truck. Steering is very responsive. It is a bit bouncy. Not the fastest, but you know. It is a very sharp. It does seem very bubbly, so that's to do with the suspension. You can put oil in them, I would suggest putting oil in the shop. Because right now it is quite bouncy, but for the price, this can't really go wrong. Bobbly. Not so when that's from the tires or steering or the fact that the tires are not not the softest but they are quite hard. Um, but yeah. Let's do a pass. I'm guessing it does around 20 miles an hour. It isn't too bad for what you're paying. It would be best for um, someone getting into the hobby. But you know, ooh, there is a bit of a wobble there. I'm guessing the wheels are tightening or something. But, yeah. Great 
साफ सिंगल I don't know if I've got a defective one with the bubbly tires, but you know. For the price point, there's no complaint, but if you do have more money to spend, I would suggest get going for something else, maybe. Uh, Maybe a WR5, but for the price, you can't really complain. Under sixty dollars. You got LED lights as well, and it is upgradable. So, okay, back into the garden. That that looking back again, that is a very strong server. Yeah, that is very very strong and responsive. Overall, I would recommend it for a younger child or someone getting into the hobby because for the price point, it is you are you do get a lot of truck and yeah, it's be good be good to bass around, take abroad because for sixty dollars, you're not paying much, and there are as it, as it states on the body, there are metal pieces, metal shafts center drives of metal so I mean if you do you could get a brushless conversion and maybe change these tires out but other than that for a for the base of this RC it is it isn't too bad yeah thanks for this review thanks for watching this review please like subscribe and peace